In the 15th year of the rule of the Emperor Tiberius, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea and Herod was the ruler of Galilee, and Annas and Caiaphas were the high priests, the word of God came to John, the son of Elizabeth, and he went through all the country along the Jordan River, preaching the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. Turn away from your sins and be baptized and God will forgive your sins. As it is written in the book of the prophet Isaiah, someone is shouting in the desert, get the road ready for the Lord. Make a straight path for him to travel. Every valley must be filled up every hill and mountain leveled off. The winding roads must be made straight and the rough paths made smooth. And all mankind will see God's salvation. What shall we do? Just tell us, what must we you do? You brood of vipers! What do you want us to do? Help us! Tell us which way to turn! Whoever has two shirts must give one to the man who has none. And whoever has food must share it. Teacher, we are tax collectors. What shall we do? Don't collect more than is legal. And what about us? What are we to do? Don't take money from anyone by force. And don't accuse anyone falsely. Be content with your pay. Tell us, are you the Christ? I baptize you with water, but someone is coming who is much greater than I am. I'm not good enough even to untie his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. He has his threshing fork with him to thresh out all the grain and gather the wheat into his barn. And God, the Holy Spirit, came down upon Jesus in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my own dear son, I am pleased with you. When Jesus began his work, he was about 30 years old. He returned from the Jordan full of the Holy Spirit and was led by the Spirit into the desert where he was tempted by the devil for 40 days. In all this time, he ate nothing. The devil said to him, If you are God's son, order this stone to turn into bread. It is written, The man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Then the devil took him up and showed him in a moment all the kingdoms of the world. 
I will give you all this power and all this wealth. It has all been handed over to me and I can give it to anyone I choose. All this will be yours then, if you worship me. It is written you shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. Then the devil took him to Jerusalem and set him on the highest point of the temple. If you are God's son, throw yourself down from here. For the scripture says, God will order his angels to take good care of you. They will hold you up with their hands, so that not even your feet will be hurt on the stones. The scripture says, you shall not put the Lord your God to the test. He came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> On the Sabbath, he went as usual to the synagogue. And he was called upon to read a portion of the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has chosen me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, and announce that the time has come when the Lord will save his people. Yes, he speaks well. This passage of scripture has come true today, as you heard it being read. The scripture come true? But only the Messiah can fulfill that promise. How shall we know? Doubtless you'll quote the proverb to me. Physician, heal yourself. You'll also say to me, do here in your own hometown, the things we heard were done in Capernaum. I tell you this, no prophet is ever welcome in his hometown. By these words, Jesus identified himself as the Messiah, God's anointed sent to save his people. These Jews did not accept him as the Messiah. They meant to throw him over the cliff, but he walked through the middle of the crowd and went his way. And came to Capernaum, a city of Galilee. The Roman occupation of the nation was in evidence everywhere, and the people longed for the Messiah to free them from the tyranny. And you, Master. May I use your boat, Simon? Why not? He's not going to leave, is he? Speak to us! Speak to us! Jesus, speak to us. Uh, 
Once there were two men who went up to the temple to pray. One was a Pharisee, the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood apart by himself and prayed, I thank you, God, that I am not greedy or dishonest or an adulterer like everybody else. I thank you that I am not like that tax collector over there. I fast twice a week, and I give you one-tenth of all my income. But the tax collector stood at a distance and would not even raise his face to heaven, but beat upon his breast and said, God, have pity on me, a sinner. I tell you, the tax collector, not the Pharisee, was in the right with God when he went home. For the man who exalts himself will be humble, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. Push the boat out farther to the deep water. Then you and your partners let down your nets for a catch. Oh, master, we worked hard all night long and caught nothing. But if you say so, I let down the nets. James! John! Go away from me, Lord. I am a sinful man. Don't be afraid. From now on, you will be catching men. <laughs> 